So, Carl, what? Uh, how upset was Coach Cal uh, on the tech? What did, what, <laughs> what did he say to you? Dude? He said a lot. And, um, you know, but it's just the things, you know, you, he expects a lot of me, and I just, I didn't give it to him that play. And, uh, you know, that's a, a big-time play I need to make. And I wasn't able to, but, uh, you know, he just, my teammates, my brothers were all behind me, especially my brother to my left, and they had full confidence in me coming back in the game. How were you able to turn that around mentally? You did two plays, and then you came back with the jumper, and then you came back down low with the, with the hook. Uh, again, it goes to my brother on the left, just mentoring me this whole time, this whole season, just getting me mentally strong for situations like this. Uh, you know, games like this are going to be on our schedule, and I had to uh, be able to regroup quickly and uh, just be able to perform. What did you say to him, Willie? Was there any thought in the back of your mind, like, hey, if we don't win this, people are going to be depending on me, I'm going to make a play? Oh, no doubt. <laughs> but you know, but you know, for me though, uh, like I said, my brothers just came behind me and said, "We're gonna get this W. We're gonna do what we gotta do to win." Uh, we did a great job, uh, but just coming back and fighting, we did a great job of that. And um, it was more proud. What do you think of the way that technical changed everything, and all of a sudden LSU was there, right there with you? What was going uh, through your mind? I, I I couldn't believe it, you know. Stay but uh, again, it was that's a momentum changer. Uh, I can't be doing that. Uh, you know, I can't be doing that. Just, you know, just got to learn from it. Just got to learn from it. Willie, Willie how did you uh, – Willie, how did you guys regroup after they made that 16-0 run? They made a 16-0 run? LSU did, yeah. You don't even realize it. Um, it's just chip, chip, chip. Like, the way we play, it's like you're not worried about what other teams are doing. They can be making plays, and you don't even realize they're making plays because you're like, you just got to stay what we're doing. If we stay what we're doing, then you know we end up winning the game because like we stay solid. Once you have a couple breakdowns, now that's your that's your lesson. Like okay, we can't have any more breakdowns because we're going to lose. So like and towards the end, you know our breakdowns is, is cut, and then you can you can make up for it. You can scramble, you can switch, you can, and then it, it's a very disappointing in, in that situation. Well, you seem to be playing with a different edge. Was was last year this building on your mind? To play tonight? What happened last year here? How much pressure do you, you can't ask? How much pressure do you guys feel knowing that this is going to be like it is every, every single every single game you play? It's going to be something like this, some variation of this. I mean, that's what you sign up. That's what you sign up for when you come. They tell you that when they, you, they're in your in-home visit, it's going to be like a sellout every night. It's going to be a gold out or a black out or a white out every night you play. Everybody's going to have t-shirts. They're going to have balls going. That's, 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 what, that's what it is when you sign up you know, to play here. And it's, um, it's good for us. Uh, that's what it's like. Willie, uh, Carl said you were his mentor, if I heard him right. What exactly, how did you do that? What what, what lessons, what messages are you trying to get through to him? I mean, it's just all, <laughs> all mental. Like, say you make a mistake, you can't think about the mistake you just made, you got to like, okay, well, I made a mistake, that's over. Now let's see what I can do to make up for the mistake so then it happens. So, but if you make a mistake and then like, you keep on thinking, that, man, I made a mistake, and then you make another mistake, and now it's a snowball effect, you just keep on making more mistakes. But if you just shut it off right there after that mistake, then try to, you know, go make a play or go get a block or get a rebound that's clutch or make a shot or make a free throw, then it changes the whole complexity. Everybody forgets about the mistake. Both of you guys, what was it like when Mickey and Martin inside? For both of you, what was it like for Mickey and Martin, dealing with Mickey and Martin on the inside? I mean, they're good players. It's an SEC, it's going to be tough. I mean, you know that coming in the game. You know, they're two of the best in the SEC, so, I mean, it's a challenge for us. Every time we step on the floor, there's going to be a person that's coming at your neck. You know, Martin's played a really, really good game. You know? That's just what, that's what we like to see. You know, it challenges us, so to that battle is just it's fun for us to play, and um, it's just going to help us in the game. Carl, what was the most creative thing Calipari told you after the presentation? I mean, he's a very creative guy. It is worth it. So we had a rock game to it today. But, uh, you know, just really just, just got to come back. You got to come back and we really just got to do what we need you to do. Carl, after a couple of LSU baskets, I noticed Coach Cal was some sort of jujitsu kind of action there. What, uh, 
What did you think of that? What message was that? It was a message I had for myself. You know, it was put to on me. Uh, after a mistake like that, uh, that run was on me. Uh, I had to come back, though, you know, just had to uh, move past it and try to win the game. What exactly was he saying? I mean, he said, I was on the sideline. I could hear him say, when will you learn? What exactly did he say to you when he during the tirade? Uh, you know, it was hard to really hear what he was saying. He was doing a lot of jiu-jitsu moves. Like <laughs> so, uh, I just, you know, just had to move past that point. Right, when you guys compared to, to Florida, was it louder, about the same, or how did this crowd compare to the one you just faced in Florida? Was it a louder crowd? Was it about the same, or? Uh, I mean, they both were just great crowds for the opposing team. Uh, you know, I really can't say if it was better or it was worse. It was, you know, it was just still very loud. You got a big rebound late, Carl. What, what sense did you have down the stretch of redeeming yourself? Um, I, I had let that play go. The biggest thing I was worrying about was making sure we get this W. And uh, I just had to put my body on the line, just do anything I can to get a, to get this win. Uh, I'm glad I was able to come out with, with the rebound and uh, give my team what they needed. But, you know, moments like that, you think about your brothers and how much they've given you. you got to give everything back. So uh, I was more happy to be able to repay my brother's efforts with uh, effort like that. Was it?